So in the middle of a project right now, as you can see by the mess, even though it's probably indistinguishable from the normal mess that's here anyway, but this came in the mail, so I decided to take a break. I've been waiting for this for a little while. So these are my uh, bandsaw tires for that 17 inch bandsaw over there that's just collecting dust. Um, I went to the farm store and got a 220 volt plug and I am ready to dig this guy out and uh, get it set up and maybe run some wood through it to see how well it performs. Okay, I guess I'll start <clears throat> with this power cord. The one that's on it is the exact opposite configuration of what I need for my receptacles. So I'm just going to pull this one off and replace it with this one. First I was a little concerned about the way that this has a middle housing. Even though it's lined with plastic on the inside. I just realized that the grounding lug actually has a tab that comes into contact with this housing to make sure it's always grounded. So that makes me feel a little bit better. I always have in the past opted for these plastic ones just because they're plastic and non-conductive. But these, uh, this one is a bit heavier duty. It's rated for a higher amperage and it's a lot cheaper. So I, uh, I like it. <clears throat> I want to cinch down tight on this strain relief so I don't accidentally pull the leads out of the plug. Alright, next step is popping open this door and <clears throat> replacing this bandsaw tire. I think I need to get the blade guide out of the way. Looks like I'm going to have to go heat up some water. Alright, I've got some really hot uh, tires here. I'm going to pull them out, dry them off, and try to get them stretched over these wheels. They're super sticky right now. not help with these gloves. Woo! All right, that's one. Now for the hard one.
All right, I got that bottom one on finally, even though you can't see it. I decided to turn the camera off after I smacked my head a couple times on the wheel after losing my balance when it slipped off. I ended up having to use clamps to hold the the tire in place, you know, right up on these tip t top two corners while I wedged it onto the bottom. It was a lot more difficult on the bottom than on the top, and I think it was just a matter of leverage. Now I gotta put the, the blade on. All right, I just installed the blade and um, everything is turning smoothly. There's a little bit of rubbing, but that's just taking place on the blade guides. I gotta adjust all of my blade guides, get the tension right. Once I'm comfortable that everything is adjusted properly and that this blade is tracking the right way um, and that it won't come flying off at me when I turn this on, I'll bump the motor and, and uh, see how well this thing fires up. Alright, so I've got everything tensioned up and tracking properly. I pulled the guide bearings away from the blade. I'm just going to test it right now. So, wish me luck. So it's rubbing a little bit on the on the thrust bearing, but um, just I just got to do some adjustment now. I'm going to adjust my guides. Uh, I need to double check my tracking is staying where it's supposed to be, and tension tension seems pretty good. I don't know a lot about bandsaw tension. I got to read up on it, um, but. For the most part, uh, next time you see me, I'm going to try pushing some wood through here. Alright, I've got everything adjusted up as best as I can. First thing I did was break this really cheap plastic throat insert plate, so I'm going to have to make a new one. I probably would have done that anyway. But what I'm planning on cutting today shouldn't make a difference because I've got this large piece of spalted maple and I'm, I think I'm first going to slice it down the middle and then I want to take some successive cuts and uh, try to be careful all the way because I don't I don't have a resaw fence for this yet I have to make one but let's see how well it eats through this guy here I jointed this edge so it'll run fairly smooth against the fence. Just need to adjust the fence. I'll call that good. saw forever to ramp down. There's some significant warp in the blade right around the weld point. It's probably just a blade quality issue. And it looks like this uh, bearing has drifted or I just hadn't adjusted it all the way properly. <clears throat> Here's the cut, nice and clean. 
I'm going to run a couple faces on the jointer, come back and see if I can't get some nice boards out of this. Okay, I've got two faces of this chunk of log jointed, and so now I'm going to, as best as I can with the fence that I have, I'm going to slowly feed this and try to resaw this. And see if I can't get a nice one inch board out of here. Pretty nice finish considering how aggressive the blade is. I'm going to do one more and I'm going to call it a day. Some nice book match boards. This is just some firewood, it's not even anything too fancy. But I'll say that'll do nicely. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.